Does somebody else have something you'd like to accomplish today or talk about? Anybody else? Yes. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say the balance between like um, making time for proactive items versus reacting to the items that come in every day. Yeah, yeah. That's, um, that's a hard thing to do, to just leave a hole in your day every day just in case, uh, you know. So what you have to do is with the proactive items, you have to proactively decide that you're going to do them and set your own deadlines. How many of you work well under pressure? How about when the pressure just keeps cranking up? Is there a point in time when the pressure is too much and then you don't work as well anymore? How about the pressure cranks down? Is there a point where there's not enough, if there's no pressure at all, you don't work as well? Okay, so I, I think there's a pressure meter you have to be able to be tuned into, okay? And, and you need to create a certain amount of pressure yourself. If the only deadlines you have are the ones that other people give you, I don't think you have enough deadlines. I think most successful people that are really good at managing their time set their own deadlines on things. So if you have a proactive project that isn't getting done and nobody's making you do it, then you make yourself do it by defining what it is, breaking it down into small chunks, and putting those in your day as if they were absolutely critical. And, and they are, hopefully. I mean, they're proactive. But if we are entirely reactive, um, earlier this week, I, was, I just got back from LA last night and, er, and, and I did a time management class for, for uh, a group of people in, in, in a company and they all agreed. They said, we are a reactive company. They said, all we do is put out fires. Everybody agreed. All we do is put out fires. So I was talking to them about how you can manage, how you can change that over time. They're saying it's impossible. It's impossible. There's nothing we can do. We, we have to live like this. <laughs> My response to that was, wait a minute. Uh, so, the fire, so, so a fire breaks out and you're putting, you're, you're putting out fires all day long and everybody, that's what everybody does. I say, the fire that breaks out, have you ever thought about, like the fire department? You know, at the fire department, they have these people who, who, uh, whose job it is to jump on a fire truck and, and, and go, you know, where's the fire? And pull out the hose and put, put the fire out. But then they got these people called file, fire marshals. And they go walking around. They don't go to the fire. What they do is they go into businesses and buildings and make sure that, that, that we are following procedures and we have fire alarms and all these kinds of things and stuff like that. Their job is to prevent fires or at least to make it so that the fire's not as serious by the fire, by the, uh, you know, so the fire department doesn't have to be called out and there's sprinklers everywhere and things like that. And, and, and so what I said to this group of people is you can change your culture if every time there's a fire, in addition to putting the fire out, you ask the question, why did this become a fire? <laughs> you know, is, is it possible that Somebody who handed this thing to me could have done something sooner. You know, if we're constantly reacting, so, so if, if I get it, like, if you wait to the last moment, get something to me, and then I get it, and I've got to deliver something, and, and now I'm up against the wall with the deadlines, I'm not going to do as good of a job, and whoever gets it after me is going to get it at the last minute, and then we just, that, everything is last minute, last minute, last minute. And what we have to do, and when you talk about proactive, I think that's a very good thing to do because the proactive thing that you make a critical item today is um, keeping it from becoming, from fires breaking out later on. But if the only time we have pressure is when uh, the fire is burning, then that's how companies become these kinds of reactive companies. And proactive companies are ones that the culture is such that people create deadlines without a fire being there to force the deadline. It's a discipline. 